Let's go here. So, so this is the first time. Yeah, I'm going up to the truck. Okay. This is the guy. Are you lost? The what? Are you lost? No, I'm not riding. That's okay. the guy that keeps oh. riding around and he's saying, wait. Oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm just riding around, like, yeah, whatever. He keeps coming to where i'm at and i know he's following my social media because all of a sudden he's like up by where i live at the graveyard and he never been up that way ever riding through there ever i um live up there i should know because i see this person like every time he's coming where i'm at every time when i'm posting on my social media like he's following me there like watching my stuff and going wherever I am outside where I'm posting at and he was never up that way ever before in the graveyards that's why I'm about to try to tell the police that and they're saying like well we can't do anything he's allowed to be in public yeah I already told us to say that he's allowed to be in public because they don't do anything unless there's something bad happens to you at the last moment and then they want to like do something but i'm trying to like tell them ahead of time like this person keeps following me he keeps coming where i'm at um he was doing it when i was homeless i seen that truck like just watching me and sitting there I seen him right past that school, like he's some type of pedophile or something, looking for something. Wait, let me see. Let's go here. So the police said they can't do anything because he's allowed to be in public so he says I understand this must be a frustration to hear yeah it is the police, while this person has a right to be in public places, their behavior towards you is concerning and warrants causing a few additional faults. Ask the police to at least file an official report documenting the innocence even if no immediate action can be taken. This establish a record in case things escalate. Continue closely monitoring the situation yourself and immediately dial 911 if you ever feel threatened or in danger. And phrase to the police you feel unsafe. Consult a lawyer a lawyer about the possibility of obtaining a restraining or protective order against this individual based on ongoing harassment without necessarily knowing their identity. Alert other community organizations like campus security if pliable neighbors, places at work, worship about the situation, and provide a photo description if able. Don't walk or travel alone if possible. Stick to well-lit, populated areas and be aware of your surroundings at all times. Notify trusted friends, family, of your whereabouts, expected return times. <sighs> return times carry mobile devices charged at all times in case of emergency. Consider safe self defense courses and device like personal alarms. Prioritize your welfare above all else here. While frustrating, continue documenting carefully and pursuing all legal options available. Don't hesitate to call 911 at any point you feel threatened. Your safety should be top priority here.
Oh God. That's the boy tone. Yeah, it says to summarize your key point, all too often the police do directly address the public safety concerns or report those suspicious for any behavior until after an actual harm has occurred. Their lack of timely investigation or meaningful intervention puts people at risk of getting hurt before the situation is treated seriously. In this pattern, understandably erodes trust in law enforcement to protect people particularly rather than particularly after the fact. Hey, damn, can I sit here at peace at once?